Hello, I'm Barkley Rope with Tiger Capital Management, a registered investment advisor here in the state of Idaho, bringing you your weekly trend update, helping you stay on the right side of the market. Uh, some investors suffer from what is known as paralysis by analysis. They do plenty of research and number crunching, but still can't pull the investment trigger because they lack the confidence and conviction. Michael Covell, an investment author, provides insight into the trend following philosophy when he says the following, trend followers control what they know they can control. They know they can choose a certain level of risk. They know they can measure volatility. They understand the transaction costs associated with trading, but there's still plenty they know that they do not know. So in the face of uncertainty, what do they do? They swing the bat. The ability to decide is core to their trading philosophy. Their decision-making skills may seem obvious, but the philosophical framework of their decision-making is critical to understanding how they trade, close quote. And so, as Babe Ruth said, never let the fear of striking out get in your way. So let's look at our long-term trends for today, starting out with U.S. stocks, represented by the S&P 500. Here we can see that um, price, um, as of last week, has come down, but uh, a little bit higher than last week's close. Um, its price is above the 50 and also above the 200 day moving average. So we're still in a confirmed uptrend with U.S. stocks. Foreign stocks, we can see also that uh, price is now just uh, right at the 50 day moving average, still above the 200 day moving average. So we're still in a confirmed uptrend also with foreign stocks. Real estate investment trusts. We can see that um, here we've had the 50-day the moving average over this past week has crossed above the 200-day moving average, which is a, a, a signal of strength. We can also see that price has stayed above this area of, um, of support, um, and we're trading above the price is trading above the 200-day moving average also. So we're, still in a, we're also in a confirmed uptrend with real estate investment trusts. Commodities. We can see that uh, commodities come down a little bit over, their, over the last uh, week from their most recent high. Um, still above the 200-day moving average, which is positive, uh, but the 50-day moving average is still below the 200. And um, we can see that uh, there's kind of that area that we talked about last week, area of resistance, wasn't able to break above that and then came back down. So we're still in a confirmed downtrend with commodities. Bonds, we can see that um, here we, had that, we have that positive, um, the 50-day moving average crossed above the 200-day moving average, and so that, that's positive with the bonds. We can see that prior we had this area of support down here, and we haven't gone back down to that price level over the last few months, but we still have this area of resistance um, that we're waiting to, uh, to break above. And so right now, uh, for this week, we, it's, it's looking good. It's looking better uh, for bonds as far as um, uh, gaining some, some strength. And, uh, but for right now, we'll still say they're in a confirmed downtrend for bonds. So I'll go through that one more time. We have U.S. stocks are in a confirmed uptrend. Foreign stocks are in a confirmed uptrend. Real estate investment trusts are also in a confirmed uptrend. Commodities continue to be in a downtrend, and bonds continue to be in a downtrend. So that wraps it up for today. I'm Barkley Roper with Tiger Capital Management, bringing you your weekly trend update, helping you stay on the right side of the market. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free, as always, to give me a call or email me. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.